Hey everybody, Mike and Hannah here with Delta. Now today we're gonna to be showing you how to install a two handle center set kitchen faucet. This type of faucet has the handles and the spout all together on one escutcheon. We're using the Cassidy as our model today, and this one came with a side spray. But this installation video can be used for other two handle center set kitchen faucets. So yours may look a little different, but the process will be the same. It's a really easy installation, and you only need a few tools to get it done. An adjustable wrench, some safety glasses, a flashlight, and a few tools Delta includes in the box for you as well. You'll also need to provide your own supply lines for this faucet, and we're going to flush those lines for this installation, so go ahead and get a small bucket or a pot, and maybe just a towel for any light water cleanup. Lastly, if you're installing this on a countertop or sink that's not totally smooth, you may want to add a little bit of silicone to ensure a nice tight seal as well. I think that's everything. Let's get going. Let's do it. So the first step is installing the faucet and the veggie sprayer. We have a four hole sink configuration. Three of the holes are for the faucet and the fourth hole is for the veggie sprayer. So we'll start by setting the faucet and you can move the spout to balance it. Next, we'll take our support assembly and our trim ring, seat that in there, put it down through our mounting hole and then we'll take our veggie sprayer and we'll wrap the tag to make it easier to put down into the hole. And we'll simply feed it down. Now we're ready to move under the sink to the next step. All right, now that we have our faucet on top of our sink or countertop placed in the holes, our next step is gonna to be to secure the faucet to the countertop or sink itself. And we do that by using these two plastic mounting nuts. So I'm going to start with one. I'm going to put it over and hand tighten it on one of the two shanks. And it should thread pretty easily, so you don't want to force it on there. Let's go ahead and spin that all the way up to the, so it's nice and snug to the bottom of your sinker countertop. With one in place, I'm going to go ahead and grab the second one. And again, hand tighten it on the other shank. And now before I crank these really tight. I want to make sure my faucet is nice and centered in my mounting holes. Everything looks good from down here, so I'm going to go ahead and give them one last turn. And we should be all set. Next, I'm going to secure my veggie sprayer. Again, using the black plastic mounting nut. I'm going to feed my sprayer hose through the center of the nut and then over the tag. Be careful not to rip the tag off. And then again, move the nut all the way to the bottom of the veggie sprayer shank all the way up to the top of the shank itself. All right, now I've got a snug on there, made sure my sprayer is nice and centered on my mounting hole. Then I give it the last little half turn or so until it's nice and tight on there and secure. All right, our next step is gonna to be to flush our supply lines. Now this is always a good idea to do, whether it's a new construction or remodel, just to make sure you've removed all the debris from your lines because you don't want that running through your faucet and causing a flow issue. So you'll see here I've got some new supply lines. Yours may, yours may look slightly different, but they all function about the same. I'm gonna go ahead and take both ends of my supply lines and grab my little bucket. Make sure they're pointed into the bucket. And then I'm going to flush lines by turning on each supply and then shutting off about 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my cold side. Turn it on slow. Gonna let it run for about 30 seconds. That looks good. Go ahead and shut that side off. I'm gonna repeat the same step for my hot side now. Right, that looks pretty good. And shut that off. All right, now it's time to go ahead and connect our supply lines. I'm going to start with the cold side, threading it on the bottom of the shank, making sure it's a nice tight thread, and I go ahead and hand tighten it. And then I'm going to grab my wrench and give it an extra turn to really snug it up on there so no leaks. There, that's nice and tight. And I'm going to repeat the same process with my hot side. Again, hand threading it on there. And then grabbing my wrench for the last turn or two. All right, that feels nice and tight. Now, our next step is going to be connect 
our quick connect. I'm gonna do that just by going ahead and pushing this directly up onto the outlet nozzle. I wanna make sure nothing's connected or nothing's hung up on the side here. Go ahead and push that on until it clicks. And then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a tug down, not too hard, just to make sure it's got a good tight connection. And we're ready to move back up top. So for this next step, we're going to be using really small pieces. So what I like to use is the dish towel. And we're gonna set this in the sink basin, unfold it, make sure that the drain is completely covered so that none of the small pieces that you may or may not drop end up in the drain. Next, we're going to install our handles. Now these only go on one way. If you have a gap like this, it's too big. You'll need to apply more pressure. Seat it down onto the glide ring. That looks good. We'll do the same for the other side. Apply a little pressure. Perfect. Now, pro tip, I like to turn the handles facing me so that I can see where I'm gonna put the set screw. Now we'll take our hex wrench and our set screw. This is a 332nd. Screw this in, and we'll do this until you feel some tension, but you don't wanna over tighten. We'll do the same for the other side. Turn this out towards you. Okay, now it's time to install our button covers. These come included with your package and they go right over the set screw just to give your faucet a finished look. Now these are very small and I found the easiest way to install these is to actually take a piece of tape. I've gone ahead and I've folded over both ends of the tape so I have a place to grab. And I'm just gonna put my button cover on the sticky side. I wanna make sure the notch is facing down. There's a little notch on this button cover. Okay, now we're gonna peel our tape off. And that's nice and snug in there. Now we'll repeat the same steps for the other side and then we'll turn our handles off. Final step is to turn on both of our supplies and then check for leaks. I'm gonna start by turning on my cold side. Here we go, and then also my hot. All right, perfect. Now I wanna look up underneath the back of my sink to see if I see any drips or any water coming out anywhere. Everything looks good and tight, no drips anywhere. So I think we're just about done. All right, so we checked for any leaks under the sink at all of our connections and everything looks good up here. That's it, pretty easy installation. It was really easy. If you have any other questions, you can always reach out to Delta Customer Service. Enjoy your new faucet. <laughs>